Okay, good morning. Welcome to... Where's my coffee? Oh, here it is. Um, so, today, uh, today we're going on a trip. Or actually tomorrow. And you're also not feeling well, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Yes. So, hopefully you'll feel better today. But we're going to skip Beast Academy. And we're going to just do a fun uh, thing about spirals. You can make another spiral. Just like the... Which one did you make yesterday? Fibonacci. Where did that, and what did you do with that? The wall. You did it on the wall? Put it on the wall. You put it on the wall. Was it pretty cool to make? Mm -hmm. All right. Was it pretty cool to make? Yes. Okay. No more mmms. Okay. Okay. All right. So today we're gonna do spiral of Theodorus. Theodorus, and the spiral of Theodorus is a really neat spiral. You start out with with a triangle that has a right angle. Have you ever heard of a right angle before? Yes. Yeah. Where? In it's like a perfect corner. It's like a perfect corner. Okay. And all we do is we start out with a, a triangle that has side length one, side length one, and a right angle. That's called an isosceles right triangle. Yes. Have you ever heard of the word isosceles before? Yep. You have? Okay, awesome. And then what we do is we keep drawing side lengths of one at right angles to our triangle. So I use the, do you know what the, the, the long side of a right triangle is called? No. The hypotenuse. Can you say that word? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. So we keep going at right angles to the hypotenuse in a distance 1, which for me is 5 inches on my little drawer. So, here. I don't think that's equal. I think you did that 6 inches. Well, no, I think this is 5 inches. See? See it goes to 5? I meant this part. Oh, no, it's not the same length as um, the hypotenuse. It's the same length as the legs. So it's, it's, so it's 1. So whatever I made the leg, I, I make that. And then this hypotenuse here, by the way, is going to be a little bit longer. So I put a right angle there. And my next right angle goes right on the hypotenuse. And I, and I go a distance 1, which is 5 inches. You see how up to 5 inches there? Okay, and there's my next spot. And then i got to draw it down to here, like this. And, and you want to hold the, the drawer to make a right angle at the next spot? No. No? Yeah. It's too big? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what. You can draw it at least. Draw five inches out there. Oh, no, the other way. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that way. And you can draw it down to five inches. Perfect. Now finish, finish it up in the, in the beginning there. Okay. So we keep making these right angles. Do you see that? And we get a little spiral. And you can do this for as long as you want, actually. Okay, and you're going to get a spiral that goes from here to here to here to here to here. And it's going to keep going around and getting larger and larger and larger. Do you want to connect, connect the dots and make a spiral with your red? Do you see how to do it? There you go. Now, what do you, you think is going to happen to that spiral after that? Keep getting larger and larger and larger and larger and go around. Larger. There you go. So that's going to be a cool spiral. It's called the Spiral of Theodorus. It kind of looks like a snail, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it kind of looks like this Fibonacci spiral, too, but it's a different kind of spiral. And this one has all sorts of really cool properties that people didn't even know all the way until, like, in the 1950s. So this is a cool one. Yep. A bunch of triangles. So do you think you can make this today? Yeah. All right. And how big, how big do you think you can make? How many triangles do you think you can put in it? I don't know. I don't know. What would you guess? Maybe 20? Okay. I think when you make 17 is when it starts overlapping at number 18. But anyway, it's pretty cool. Good job, sweetie. Good job. This will be a fun, fun spiral to make and put right next to your Fibonacci spiral.